بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ریزن دیر آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو اسٹے ان پاکستان از ویری ہرڈ فل ٹو می اور فار می اینڈ دیٹ از دیٹ دا سیکشول ہراسمنٹ دیٹ آئی فیس آن آلموسٹ اے ڈیلی بیسس ایون آفٹر آبزرونگ پردہ اسلامک پردہ دا وے اسلام ٹیچز اس ٹو بی اینڈ گوئنگ بفور گوئنگ آؤٹ آئی ٹرائی ٹو کور مائی فیس موسٹ آف دا ٹائمس ہارڈلی ایور آئی ڈونٹ کور مائی فیس بٹ دا اسٹل مائی ہیڈ از کورڈ سو سو یا سو وین آئی ٹرائی ٹو آبزرو پردہ I don't wear vulgar clothes. I don't put on makeup. Yet I face sexual harassment all the time. If I talk to someone nicely, most of them after one day or two days or the same day, they offer zina to me. They say, can you please have illegal sex with us? Because we are crazy about you or your body. I know that's all stupidity and that's all flirting and that's all... Uh, sexual uh, what should I say they want to do sex with me I go on the roads when I'm walking by the side of the road or I'm going in a rickshaw or someone people start following me the rickshaw driver sets his mirror on my face and keeps staring at me not all the rickshaw people but most of them and uh, If I'm going on a chinchi, people start following me on bikes and cars. Then sometimes I'm walking down the road and cars or motorbikes stop or uh, a person on his foot also comes to me and say, you know, come with us for one or two hours. We'll pay you or let's have some sex. I don't live in Pakistan anymore. I don't feel safe. Last night something happened. I don't remember the date. It was uh, 16th September yesterday or 15th. I don't remember, but... Last night, after 12, uh, when the date changes, um, yeah, around 12, 15 or 20, I felt like having biryani. Now, I thought maybe I should, uh, uh, then maybe that I should go out and have biryani from somewhere. But I thought, I thought about it that if I go, it's, not 12 the clock has struck 12 in the night and what if somebody uh, tries to sexually harass me and uh, what if somebody starts following me what if somebody tries to commit rape what if more than one people come after me and i felt so disgusted how can i call this uh, my own country If after 12, I want to go, like I wanted to have biryani, that was not an emergency. So I didn't go because I didn't feel that it was the right time to leave for getting something. Even if you are going on a ride, uh, because pe- even if the driver is okay, what about the people around you? So um, today I was thinking that having biryani is not an emergency. But what if I have to go for something urgent? After 12 or after 11 or after 1, 2, I wouldn't feel safe at all. I know. I don't feel safe uh, from uh, in the presence of policemen because the way they stare at me, normally I hate that. I hate the disgusted l- stare that they, uh, that I face from them. So, uh, basically, this is something... Uh, That has made me change my mind. That how long can I keep protecting my country's... Uh, uh, I mean, I have always been a very, very patriotic person. Even on this 14th of August, I went to see the lights and everything. But I used to argue with people going abroad that, you know, it's okay if you're going abroad, but Pakistan is like the best thing. But what about this thing this harsh reality that if in my own country even after observing parda i don't feel safe 
I get offers of zina, sexual hara, uh, sex, illegal. I get uh, uh, get uh, dirty stares. I get uh, sometimes people go, uh, you know, go by your side and they, they suddenly touch your breast or your hip and oh, what is this? I am not safe here. And the best thing I ever do to protect myself is to recite Allah's name or some Quranic verse or dua before leaving uh, before leaving the door uh, not the door but where I'm living before leaving I do that but I don't feel safe I cannot lie to people this is not something that is being done by some foreign country this is happening in my own country so I basically don't want to live in Pakistan anymore but it's not easy to settle some in some other country to get the visa all the um, uh, process, uh, process of applying uh, for jobs or for settling down in some way, in some legal way, obviously. So, um, I just want to say that uh, I have changed my mind and uh, I'm somebody who has always been extremely patriotic, still was, but now, you know, it's very hard for me to face all this each and every day especially when I'm not well I have been through uh, different series of accidents I have faced so many frauds and now this sexual harassment is so common sometimes you're sitting in the bus and the peop- the person behind you would try to touch your hips from the crevice in the seat or the opening and they would touch your hip I've caught more than one or two people doing that and then they act so innocent Sometimes they'll try to touch you uh, by moving their hand out of the window and putting it inside from the window next to you. I mean, I'm sick and tired of this. I cannot, I cannot slap each and every person. I cannot beat everybody. What if they have some kind of uh, um, weapons? What if they start beating me back? What, what if they retaliate? I don't know. I cannot keep on beating everybody with my slipper or slap uh, or my uh, hand. Uh, I've done that a few times, but I'm sick and tired. I cannot, st- because if one car starts following me, then the bike and car, how many people will I hit? And uh, what if they hit me with their car or bike in anger? I mean, I'm not safe here. So, basically, I don't want to live in Pakistan anymore because I don't have the stamina anymore. But as the process is not easy to settle somewhere, to get the visa, work visa, or what do you say, that visit visa and then settling down uh, by getting a job in any country, but all legal ways I'm talking about. So, uh, but my decision is I don't want to live in Pakistan anymore. It hurts me so much to say this, but this is reality. You can't escape reality. You can't escape from it. I cannot lie to foreigners and everybody, that all is good here. Hazrat Umar was one of the bestest leaders in Islamic history. But we don't see any examples being set uh, following his footsteps. I don't see it anywhere, which is which hurts me to an extreme level. May Allah protect all the cats and innocent animals. I mean, 